And so, I treated myself to an arcade stick that I've been meaning to pick up for a really, really, really long time. Back when I had my first arcade stick for the PS4 generation, it was probably one of the better arcade sticks for the PS4 generation. Especially there was one thing wrong with it, compared to the stick I like the most currently. My favorite stick right now is the Holy Fighting Stick Alpha, uh, the Xbox Series X slash S version, and the only reason why is because they haven't released the PS4 and PS5 version. When that one comes out, I might talk to Hori, maybe they'll give me like a review sample. If not, I'll go buy it, no problem, whatever. I want that stick. So I wanted to try the previous Hori stick of the last generation with the same layout because I had a Combo Obsidian and it was a great stick. One of the better $200 sticks out there, right alongside the Razor, oh, I'm the Razor right alongside the Razor Panthera Evo, the original Razor Panthera, and the Mad Cat CE2, which is also back here. Uh, the only stick I don't own of that of that category anymore is the Obsidian. I sold that. Uh, went to a good home. That guy still has it. Great. But if I'm being honest, I really, really, really favor the Noir layout over the Viewless stuff. That's just me. It's personal preference. If you guys like the Viewless layout, that's cool, right? Uh, I have a bunch of sticks here that are using the Viewless layout. Almost all of them, actually. My drone, my carbon, my uh, Razor Frontera Evo, and my TE2 are all using the the Noir, the Viewless layout. But my main stick which is not a PS4 stick, not a PlayStation stick, um, does have a younger brother, an older brother, that uses the Noir layout. Also costs around $200. Uh, I picked it up for a little less than that, 180, with a Korean lever in it, which is really cool. It was used about an hour away from me. So I drove out of town, got it, drove back into town. Um, that was this bad boy. The Hori Fighting Edge. Now this is an older arcade stick, I'm sure you guys know that, uh, but I'm really excited. And the reason why is because this is basically the hoary version of a combo obsidian, okay? I could go out and get the combo pearl, okay? Or I could get a conversion kit for an obsidian and do that. But I've really been enjoying hoary parts, right? Hoary Hayabusa buttons are my second favorite button right behind the gravities. And I like the Hori Hayabusa lovers, they're a, little, they're a little loose, but putting like a two pound, three pound, a four pound spring in there, bada bing, bada boom, some of the best Japanese styled arcade sticks that I've ever used, right? I have a Kimitsu in this, the rest of my sticks have Sonoris, or proprietary parts with my car, but I haven't upgraded it just yet. We're gonna get around to that. Now let's go ahead and give this thing a nice load to the world and see if we can get it kind of on camera. Okay, you guys can see that, right? Yeah, so once again, so he still had, luckily the guy still had the original box and still had the uh, yeah, it's really shiny and so shiny because I have a light, right? But so these, he said the original foam and the box, which was really cool. Nice, super gracious. I'll probably put this box somewhere. Um, he also gave me an actuator, which I just dropped for a Korean lever. Because currently in this stick, if you notice, it has the original buttons. If you know anything about the Hori Fighting Edge, if you look at the front of the box, it shows a black ball top on a Hori Hayabusa lever. This is actually a crown help me lever. Not entirely sure what that means, but this is my first Korean styled lever. I've never bought one. I should have a long time ago and maybe put it into my TE2, but instead we have a fastener type, which is the same type that's in this. It's not a PCB type, it's a fastener type. Uh, fastener type joystick, right? The same way a Korean lever would mount, but it's a Simitsu. Simitsu with an Octogate. Uh, I actually didn't know it had an Octogate on there until recently. I had to just look it up. I had no clue. Uh, now. I don't know much about Korean levers. I just know that they have a rubber grommet to tension instead of a spring, and they snap back to center very differently. So if I, if I hold this up, if I hold this up, and I, uh, I flick that, it like snaps back the way that it wants to on its own. I can't do anything about it. The only way that I can not do anything about it is by holding the lever as it comes down. Now, I, I want to just take this out of the box. I'm tired of looking at it, right? Let's, let's take it out. Here it is. I will say, giant aluminum plate on here. I was expecting this bad boy to be heavier, but this apparently stock right out of the box is 7.7 .7 pounds. It's heavy. It's got some heft to it. It's got some weight to it. It's nice. It feels good on the lap. It's got a lot of space. My hands got a lot of space across and space down here as well. I really dig that. Um, it doesn't really feel much heavier than 
Ah, this. This is my all blacked out Ori Fighting Stick Alpha with an aluminum black panel, right? This is an aluminum panel. This is not. This is not stock. None of none of this is stock anymore. Okay. I really like this body. This is like the new HT2. If I'm being quite honest, if someone asks me how do I feel about this stick, uh, other than like the one thing I found wrong with it, which I may make a video about eventually, this is essentially a new age tournament edition too, right? If you like the Noir layout or could get used to the Noir layout, and you want something that feels like the TE2, like a plastic body with like a real sturdy, nice top panel. This one flexes a little bit. This one doesn't. The original uh, panel and changeable artwork, and you know, opens up. Duh. Right? If you want that, this is like the new HT2. So this is probably still gonna be like my tournament stick. I'll probably be taking this uh, when I get the PS5 version of this tournament. But until then, I think I'm gonna leave this bad boy at home now. It looks really nice. I love it. But I have to use an adapter with this to play on PS4 because at my locals we play on PS4. Right? And when PS5 rolls around, we'll probably be playing on PS5. It's very unlikely that people are gonna lug around Xbox Series X's and S's. They're probably gonna use PS5. Or Steam Decks, who knows? And it is PS4 compatible, right? It's got the options button up here, the touchpad, the home button up here. That's really cool. Two of the buttons you're going to need the most. They're on the face instead of being on the side with the rest of the buttons. And there's a bunch of other buttons here, like the Star Trek Enterprise selection of buttons. Oh, no, it's uh, three buttons and a bunch of switches, right? So we have tournament switch, on or off. We have an assign mode, and then we have keypad, left stick, and right stick with the L3 and R3 buttons and the share button. All right, so if you ever need to clip someone rage quitting and post that shit to YouTube or to Twitch or Twitter or whatever, boom, you got that share button. That's pretty neat. Up here at the top, we have the touchpad. Very nice. It's like with the Combo Obsidian. Nothing, nothing special. And there's also, if I'm not mistaken, on the other side. Oh, it's in the very front. In the very front, if you can see that. Right there. That is a headphone jack. So if you're bodying your foes straight from a PS4 uh, and don't have... And don't have something like a what's the one I'm looking for here? And don't have something like a uh, like a. I don't remember what this is like a USB style Wi-Fi received headset, right? Or Bluetooth receiving headset. If you're using a wired headset, you can plug directly into your your stick. Uh, you can't do it for tournaments because of the way Sony routes audio, but you can do it for like at home play, which is really nice. You can still, and it's not just a headphone jack; it's actually a headset jack. This does have the. Uh, proper third ring or using a microphone as well as using a headset which is really really cool uh, like I said this is an aluminum panel and it's a solid black body it doesn't open it does have two handles on the side which is pretty cool and these giant fucking pads on the back I really like that um, that's a lot more padding than like some arcade sticks have right so this. probably one of the most this is one of the most influential sticks of all time, right? If you played, if you started on like Xbox One and PS4, then you know this stick. You know the fucking TE2, right? Let's look at the back of the TE2. Look at that. Boom! Boom! Look at all that padding, right? Now, if we look at it, one of the newer $200 sticks. Very light. It's a very light stick. This is it. One strip and two strip. That's it. There's, there's nothing else on here. That's not a lot of padding. And unfortunately, it's kind of the same with the Combo Obsidian, but this is super wide, very nice, the way it sits on the lap, and the pads are set. These are very thick cut. Your legs, you could have legs as skinny as Shaggy from Scooby-Doo, or as thick as, like, uh, the Hawaiian guy off of um, Rocket Power, and these pads will not slip on your nice jeans or your or your sweats whichever right i'm wearing sweats right? I'm, a, I'm a lazy boy what's up bun how you doing brother um and speaking of sticks bun said this is the stick he's using right now this stick does have the 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 necessary way to put artwork on what you do is you take off this aluminum panel with these screws here is six screws i believe those are hex screws of some kind you take those off i think you replace this with a clear panel and artwork i'm not gonna do that i really like the aluminum clean like professional look of sticks like this, like this, the Victrix Pro, and even my version of the Hori Fighting Stick Alpha, right? I really like that clean, simple look. I'm not really... I used to want to put, like, characters on all my fight sticks, but it's not really a thing for me anymore. I'm really just a fan of, like, basic. Very, like, basic, like, rugged, down to, like, professionalism. Right? Like, you see this stick, and you're like, that guy's not fucking around. You see this stick, and you're like, oh, that guy loves the Solomon from Soul Calibur 6. That's cool. So... 
We're gonna plug this in and we're gonna test it. Like I said, this is not a complete box stick. I bought it used for 180 uh, and it came with a crown help me lever, crown new help me lever. I'm not sure which one, but some sort of a K lever. And I've never tried a K lever before. This was my first time. And I figured we'd kick it off with Tekken 7, right? If there's one game that people mention whenever they talk about Korean levers and Korean parts and Korean culture in general, it's usually Tekken, right? So we're gonna boot up Tekken right now and give it a shot. Like I said, I'm already used to this Noir layout. I guess while Tekken is loading, we can kind of talk about the layout a little bit more. If you look at the way this layout is structured, if you're new to Arcade 6 completely, uh, say hi to YouTube, chatters, um, then you'll notice that this layout here kind of curves more with the shape of your hand naturally compared to the Vulex layout. Okay, let's put it more straight so you can see it, right? You see that? It perfectly fits my hand. I don't really have to stretch my fingers at all. That's pretty cool. Um, a standard like Vulex, you have two lower and six straight across. So your hand has to be more curved, kind of like this, to get all these buttons. You see that? Like my hand is very curved to get all these buttons. I can I can pinky, I can finger action hit this one. And it would be pinky action with this side, right? I can pinky action hit this one. But your hand is more curved to do so instead of straight. I don't know when, I don't know why, but I really, really started digging the Noir layout. Um, after buying the Hori Fighting Stick Alpha, it's probably my favorite arcade stick right now. Uh, especially like my favorite like full size $200 arcade stick. First, yo, with the Fort Hype. What's up? I love Fortnite. Chapter 3, Season 3. Sick. I played for like 30 minutes before I went to go grab this stick. No response, but hey! Okay, you guys heard that? Awesome. Okay, so it's already plugged in. It's being registered as a Steam Xbox One controller, which means that it has the necessary drivers to use X input, right? Because it's immediately recognizing, even though it's a PS4 controller, it is immediately recognizing it as an Xbox 360 controller, which is exactly what you want for something like this. Now, go ahead and move over to Game Capture. And let's just try some stuff, huh? What a heavy day. Let's try some stuff. I wish I had a hand cam. This would have been like the perfect time for me to invest in one. Unfortunately, I didn't. Um, so. Now, I can't really speak on the buttons, right? The buttons are low profile, Hori Hayabusa buttons. If you don't like Hori Hayabusa buttons, you won't like these buttons. But hey, buttons are very easily replaceable in sticks. Uh, right now, we're just testing like the fit, the feel, and the body of the stick mixed with this K lever. Um, because I've never tried a Korean lever before. Ooh, okay. That's that's quarter circle forward uh, two. That's very nice. I can't KBD, but uh, this backdash feels like way smoother. My like shit backdash that I do because okay. So I just want to explain what's happening. I think. Because of the fact that the way this thing snaps back to neutral on its own, and you flick it, uh, it's giving me back to neutral input. So it's making it a lot easier to do uh, back, down, back, down, back. Also, these buttons are very sensitive. Wow, I've been using gravities for a while, which are less sensitive. Uh, so, like, I barely tapped that and I got it. Oh, they're side turned. Okay. What is the combo there? What is it? I forgot what it is. There it is, right? So that means we need to do. Oh, after this is course of four two. Okay, let's try it. Oh wow. Okay, cool. Oh, I I dropped that. That was me. I didn't press neutral. It's a. Uh, I, I need to dash forward and then go up, return to neutral, then up forward three. Up forward three plus four. Okay. It feels it feels a little different because this back top feels different than like back tops that I use, but I don't hate it. There's nothing like inherently wrong with it. I'm not entirely sure what the 
a, like, big uh, draw to Korean levers is. Uh, but I will say it is very strange not having a shaft cover on my lever. <laughs> it's very strange. Very, very strange. Oh, that's the wrong character. Very, very strange. Big Korean lever enthusiast. We know one. And we love you for it. Your love of do rags and Korean levers. Even for 2D, I, I think what we'll do after this is we'll boot up Guilty Gear Strive and take a look at some stuff in Guilty Gear Strive. We'll try like our basic Naga bread and butter. Oh, I dropped it. How do you reset? Oh, it's share plus A? That's very strange. Because it's registering as an Xbox controller, so you have to press share and then A. That's very strange. Okay, okay. I don't hate that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, is it? PS4 pad doesn't do anything on PC. The, the touchpad? Oh, that's unfortunate. You could probably use it. On a well, I mean, I play on PS4 mostly, right? Most games I play, I actually play on PS4, so it's like not a big deal. Oh, I think I'm supposed to do um that to end at the wall. I always forget. Wow, I keep getting side turned. I should pr I should probably put on an infinite stage, right? Or maybe we do at the wall to end it. On this stick, anyways? Oh, okay. Oh, you have a uh, Hori fighting it. You did say you were playing on this stick. I'm silly. My bad. Having to reach over is a little obnoxious, but that's like specifically a this stick thing, which. Nice. And that's a specifically like this stick thing, which I can't be mad at. Uh, yeah. I like the way it feels. It just. It's very. It's a little different. It definitely feels different than like my standard Japanese level. Gonna be honest, the new weapons in Fortnite are kind of weird. Yeah, I'm not a super big fan of a lot of them, but the season itself is really fun. I'm glad the drum is gone, honestly, because it was a super scrubby weapon that I used because I am scrub. Scrub man gets away with being scrub man by picking up drum shotgun. Let's uh, let's move over to Guilty Gear Strive. Unable to sink? Sure, why not? What's the worst that happens? I lose my Guilty Gear Strive. Play uh. Play that on PC when I also play it on PS4. And I have DLC on neither because I spend my money on arcade sticks instead. <laughs> I like the sound of these buttons. I can still hear them through my through my headset. I don't have it like Max, and I can hear the sound of these buttons. I like how slappy they are. I have silencing pads. I should get some. You play Naga, what DLC would you play? Viking? No. I would play. I would play no DLC game. I only want to play Naga. I might try like Kai or Gia. I don't think there's a single DLC character that I thought, wow, this character looks cool. I guess Gold Lewis looks cool, but I'm not trying to behemoth Typhoon people. If we're being honest. If we're being honest, I'm not really trying to behemoth Typhoon people. I hate those stock ones. I broke them all in a week. That sounds like a you problem. I had Hori's in my other stick. I had those non, non uh, shiny versions of these exact same buttons in my Hori Fighting Stick Alpha, the uh, Xbox Series version back there, and I didn't break them. They're just in another stick now. I moved them. I moved them over to this. I hit my buttons like they owe me lunch money. Maybe you shouldn't do that. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't do that. That sounds like a. These buttons suck, I broke them. I beat the shit out of them. <laughs> I have the music on. You know what? Strive's music isn't bad. We can we can use Strive's music instead of this. That's fine. Strive's music isn't bad. Not terrible. Kyle Keese. Dude, this is not Street Fighter 1's chill. Sonwell buttons can take it. It's, it. That doesn't mean you should do it. That doesn't mean you should do it, my friend. All right, 
right, let's take a look, shall we? So, uh, what's the combo that we do? Nice. That's like a very basic Nago combo. Very basic Nago combo. Oh, what the hell? I didn't get it twice. Oh, I never get that on P2 side first. What? That's two in a row. I never get that on P2 side. I never get BSU on P2 side. Brother, brother in Christ. I always fuck it up. Oh my gosh. Let me throw him. Let's try uh, BSU on P1 side. I, I, ne I literally never can do BSU on PC side, ever. Ever. I always fuck it up. Oh, you actually can't use the touchpad. You're absolutely right. That's crazy. You actually cannot use the touchpad on this stick, on PC. Uh, I mean, it's still a great stick, honestly, but... Cool. My super jumps are coming out pretty crisp too. I'm gonna pop you. Yeah. Having to feel around on the side of the stick for like what button does what? Oh, I did that wrong. Okay, okay, okay. You don't need it. I've been using the. T I, I've been. Using it without the touchpad for like three years. <laughs> Jeez, you've had this stick for three years. How do you like this stick? I so far like I already knew that I was gonna like the body. Okay, like we'll be we'll be honest. Here. I already knew I was gonna be a big fan of the body because I literally tried to emulate this stick with my Pori fighting stick out. It's got the same noir layout. It's got the buttons I love the most. I have the combo gravity buttons, my favorite button. I have a Hori Hayabusa lever with a four pound a Hori Hayabusa silent lever, optical lever. With a four pound spring and a aluminum panel instead of artwork panel, right? And the clear plexi on This stick has an aluminum panel, the same noir layout, a bat top joystick, which is more than good enough, with a Korean lever. We're trying the Korean lever and Hori Hayabusa buttons, which are my second favorite button, right? I love the Hori Hayabusas, they're like right under the combo gravities for me. Okay. Okay. Oh, I did that wrong. Oh, you don't get close slash there twice. Okay. Yeah, you do. There we go. I just missed time. Yeah, okay. So, like, I can do, like, my standard noggle combos. And I can BSU. Oh, I snuck my camera. I freaked out. I freaked out and knocked Remy off the chair, and now she's mad at me. She's like, put me down. Put me down. You tried to kill me. Okay, we're gonna pull you down. I didn't understand a single word you said. There's two different kinds of arcade stick layouts. Noir and Vulex. I personally prefer the Noir layout. Oops, I dropped that. Okay. Okay. Let's try the very, like, standard combo. Uh, what, what's the very standard combo? Okay, no problem, no problem. We can also do this, this. Oops, I did it too fast. Oh, I didn't get close slash. Huh. Do I have an RC button? I do. I do have an RC button. I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. Oh, I gotta let the BSU come out, for fuck's sake. I don't know how to do that. I think what I'm supposed to do is this, this, this. Like, I'm supposed to do that, probably. Let's try it. Okay, 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 okay. Off the of BSU, that's pretty neat. Yeah, my super jumps are clean. I don't know if this is gonna like surpass the Hori Hayabusa lever for me, 
But I definitely like the feel of this more than a Sanwa. More than like a stock Sanwa. My favorite version of a Sanwa is like a Sanwa with like a two or three pound spring. You could probably dash, I see ma macro right there. But can you dash? Do I have to use the dash macro? Can you even dash as Nago? We're ready to do this to move. Do I have to set a dash macro for that? I wouldn't know. Dash RC? I, Nago doesn't have a dash. Nago doesn't have a dash. Oh, you, oh, you drift. Oh, that's really sick. Cool. I learned something new about Strive. Thank you so much. I would have never known that. Yeah, I guess we'll give one more game a shot. Uh, drift RC. Yeah, just say Drift RC. That made way more sense to me. Because you said, like, dash. And I was like, he doesn't have a dash. How do I do this? Okay. So let's now. What other game could we take a look at? Our right, tried and true, of course. We could go over to Soul Calibur and look at Soul Calibur 6, how it's going to feel on this crown lever. What, what I'm really here to, like, test and look at, other than the unboxing, is this crown lever because it's very different for me. Okay, we'll get the music started up again. It's very different for me. I'm not used to Korean levers. I've never tried one. The Street Fighter V test, I actually don't own Street Fighter V. Fantasy Strike is gonna test this stick, bro. Trust me. You're hilarious. Mr. Slup, you're so funny. <laughs> you're fucking hilarious, my friend. You could play that game on a toothpick. Oh, I am an, I am an online warrior. I immediately went to net play. Chat. <laughs> I immediately went to net play. My brother in Christ, that might be an Alex man. If he's in the next game, why not, right? Let's pick Yoshi first. Let's look at Yoshi stuff. I'm a comedy genius. Checking my movement. Okay, my movement seems cool. Oh shit, that was, I think that might have been me. Okay, that was me. That doesn't reach? I thought that worked. I guess that doesn't work. Well, I've been doing a fake combo this whole time. That's fucked up, dude. So that means the real combo would be this. Okay. That's something big. These cats. There is two cats playing under me. Hi, Remy. Oh, I think I can get more than that. I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. 77. Or. Or. That doesn't work. <laughs> I'm trying fake shit. Nice. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I'm bad. This feels nice. I like this. I like this. Last character test. I guess we'll test the bread and butter. The Solomel combo. And then we will skip doop skedaddle on over to the conclusion of how we feel about this lever. And the stick itself. I knew I was going to like this stick, for sure. But I didn't like the, the casing, right? But I didn't know how I was going to feel about a K-Lover. The song bumps. Let's do this. You know what I should be doing? Now that I learned it, let's try an actual hard combo, shall we, boys? <laughs> let's try an actual hard combo. Let's We could we could, use, we could use us. We could do our standard B-Slide K double just frame combo. Or we could do a combo that takes way more fucking execution. It requires no just frames. 
Let's give it a shot. See, yeah, I'm already dropping it. Nice! Yeah, that combo's actually, like, mad hard. I keep doing it wrong. Oh, I held forward. I'm not supposed to. Oh my gosh! Yeah, dude! This feels nice. I like this. I definitely like this. It definitely feels good. Yeah, this feels good. I like this. Oops, I did it wrong. I think I'm supposed to do something up there. I think I'm supposed to do that. Wait, hold on. I'm supposed to do that. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. Nice! Okay, I like this stick. Yeah, I'm definitely liking the way a Korean lover feels. Right? This is like first impressions, first like 30, maybe like 40 minutes or whatever it was. But one, this is getting added to the collection. Yes, I have a pretty big arcade stick collection. I'm sorry. I have fucking seven arcade sticks now. I love arcade sticks. I like the way they feel, I like the way they look, I like the way each one can play differently if you want them to. Each one can play exactly the same if you want them to. Very cool. You can customize them, make them your own, make them look exactly like your best friends. You guys can have matching sticks, be cute and shit. But right now, when we get pl playing more fighting games, we're going to be playing it mostly on this bad boy to test out the Korean lever. I'm kind of a fan of the Crown Help Me, New Help Me Japanese compatible lever. It seems pretty cool. Um, I like the feel and the weight of this stick a lot. I'll be taking it to locals from now on. This will be like my go-to local stick because I won't need an adapter to use it. And if you ever see one of these bad boys, if you can find a Hori Fighting Edge for less than the $200 asking price, get it. Pick it up. This, this stick. From the first 30 minutes of me using this stick, I think this stick is one of the best sticks on the market. Right? You could buy a Victrix Pro, which is going to cost you like $400. That's going to feel just as good as this stick. Maybe a little bit better because it's all aluminum and opens up. Right? But for that $200 less, you're getting a really solid body. My camera needs to focus. You're getting a really solid body. A, a nice, just super shiny, more like aluminum silver look instead of that gunmetal gray. And you're getting my favorite arcade stick layout. You're getting the Noir layout, which places the lever further away from the buttons. And the lever and the buttons are faced in a more ergonomic layout if you play with your hands straight forward instead of curving. Which, hey, may be better for your wrist. Maybe not, maybe you're a fan of the Vulex layout. And if you do, if you are, then I talked about the Combo Obsidian earlier in this video, and the Combo Obsidian is like probably the best $200 equivalent to this stick. If you're like, I like the Vulex layout, I've been playing on the Vulex layout since 09, I'm an 09er, damn it, I love me some Street Fighter V. Then get you the Combo Obsidian, it's a great stick, I used to have it. I should have never sold it, one of my biggest regrets in life, honestly. Uh, but if you like the Vulex, if you like the Noir layout or want to try a new layout, give this stick a shot. PS5 compatible, by the way, because it is a licensed PS4 controller. This will be PS5 compatible. Pick yourself one up. Great stick. Anyways, this has been Beanie Thuggish for the YouTubes, signing out and saying,